Liliana, and today we're talking all about Diwali. Today I'm going to read you a book about Diwali. Diwali is about the festival of lights. This thing here is called a dia. The festival of lights signifies good over evil. Now I'm going to read you the book. Amma, tell me about the Bali, says the little boy to its mom. Amma, tell me about the Bali. as if the stars themselves came down to the earth that night. The entire city was lit up with thousands and thousands of lights. It was the Bali, the festival of lights. That, that Kala had celebrated today. Oh, how much fun it had been. A, a most wonderful, beautiful day. He'd woken up full of excitement and worn new clothes with joy. Amma and Daddy had spotlit Gala, so giving many gifts to their little boy. That evening, he and his brother, Kiki, had lit earthen oil lamps called Diaz and eaten sweets with Arjun and Devika. Naomi? Scotchla, Sabina, and Reha. Together, they offered their prayers for, for good fortune, prosperity, and health to Ganesha, the god of new beginnings, to Lakshmi, the goodness of wealth. Ganesha has elephant's head. And on his feet, his pet mouse rests. He brings good luck, clears obstacles, and is worshipped before any quest. Lakshmi, the goddess of wealth, sits on a big lotus flower. She has four hands to bless us with. And best and best out fortune and power. Then it was time for firecrackers, sparkles making circles of light. Shark has spinning windly, windly and rockets flying high, coloring the sky golden. Oh, what a sight! Finally, it was time to sleep, but Kala still chattered happily as Amma tucked him into bed. He said, Amma, tell me about Diwali. Amma said, Diwali means a row of lights, just like the Diaz we lit tonight. It's celebrated in the autumn on Amma Vestia, which is the month's darkest night. Diwali is also Diwali is also very special as it starts off the new year. A time for new beginnings. Good luck and good cheer. But why do we light Diaz on the Bali? Curious, Kala asked his amma. She smiled and told her little boy to remember, to remember the great Prince Rama. Rama was the prince of Ayodha, son of King Darshata, the great 
He was brave and kind and loved by all. Next in line to be king of the state. But Geki, Rama's wicked stepmother, wanted her own son to be king. Instead, she threw a big tantrum and made the strut bashing Rama for 14 years ahead. So, Rama's wicked stepmother wanted her own son to be king. She threw a big tantrum and made Dashtra banish Rama for 14 years. Without a fuss, Rama left for the forest, leaving his beloved Ayodhya, Ayodhya behind. With his wife, the lovely Sita, and his brother Lakshman by his side, More trouble lay ahead of them, for Ravan, the demon king with ten heads, having heard of Sita's beauty and grace, kidnapped her and tried to marry her. When Rama found Sita gone, he set off towards Lanka. On the way, he met Hanuman of the monkey's kingdom, Kishkinda. Demon with ten heads kidnapped Sita. On hearing Rama's sad tale, Hanuman pledged his aid. They raised an army of monkeys and marched into Lanka unafraid. They finally reached Lanka and fought a fearsome war. People say that such a great battle had never been fought before. Rama and Ravan came face to face. Their fighting was fierce and heated. Finally, Rama emerged victorious. The evil Ravan was defeated. Rama was united with Sita. They were together at last. It was also time to return to Ayodhya, as 14 years had finally passed. With the three on his back, mighty Hanuman flew to Ayodhya. That very night, as they got near the city, they were guided by thousands of lights. Thousands and thousands. You see, Ayodhya had not forgotten that 14 years were over that day. People had lit dias across the city to show their beloved Rama the way. So every year on the Bali, we remember Rama's homecoming by lighting dias. We celebrate good. Good's victory over evil and Rama's crowning as the king of Ayodhya. This is the second part of the story. Also, Goddess Lakshmi comes to earth on this day of Diwali every year to bless Rama's true followers with fortune and good cheer. How will Lakshmi find us? asked Gala. Will the 
Will the Diaz be lit led her to me? Diaz alone will not do, said Amma, as you will learn from the next story. One year when Lakshmi visited Earth, the light in every house was so bright. The glare hurt her eyes, and so she decided to go home for the night. On her way home, in the distance, she saw a flicker of light in the house, nothing more. Curious, she reached the small cottage. A lady appeared at the door. The goddess said, I am Lakshmi. Long into the night, I have progressed, tried all the bright lights. I have come to your cottage. May I rest? The lady invited her in to relax. The goddess found her very, 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 very kind. Lakshmi said, my, may I ask you a question? Something has been on my mind. While the whole city is glowing with lamps, to entice to me to their ha homes tonight, how come your little cottage Cottage only has one small light. The lady said, oh, I am poor. Seem stress, and I only have this one light. I was busy finishing my work and did not realize it was Diwali night. Lakshmi blessed her, for she had met a true devotee who did not think of pleasuring the gods and instead went and did her duty. So Kala, so Kala, true happiness comes to those who are dedicated to their work. Just praying and lighting Diaz alone would not bring you fortune or, and luck. Hard. Give your best to what you do. Honestly and dedication are the only ideas that will guide Lakshmi to you.